Hi, welcome to the channel. I recently did a video about competitive sisters after taking Rings of Flame to a tournament. You should watch that video actually as I'm doing a giveaway and there's still time to enter. I had a lot of comments from people starting out with sisters and it made me think, what's the best way to start collecting sisters? My journey started in 2021 with my favourite model Celestine and the Triumph of St. Catherine, so that's one way to start collecting, just get the stuff you like. But practically speaking, how can you approach this? Some things about the army first. They have beautiful models, but small and fiddly. Probably a more difficult army to paint. The faction generally ends up in a strong place in the meta, no matter what seems to change. They are glass cannons and units need to be nursed. Trading well is key. They can be difficult to play, definitely more thinking required. There are tons of good characters which makes it fun and hard to list build. Sisters aren't a sit back and shoot army. Clever play to get melee on your terms and up close with melters is important. There are a variety of playstyles and units that work. The reality though is that there are some auto includes that just work better than others. Firstly then, what discounts are available for them? There's a new combat patrol. If you can still find it in stores, the old combat patrol. The Army of Faith Battle Force and coming out soon, the new Battle Force. There's also the Ordo Hereticus box, which isn't just a sister's one, but it's the only way at the moment to get a discounted immolator. They all come with good discounts over buying the models separately and you can get additional savings buying from independent retailers. Combat patrols are usually the place to start. The sisters ones are a bit meh, in my opinion. The old one had a bit of everything, but you couldn't get full squads except the Battle Sisters and Rhino. And the new one doesn't seem to have a lot. If you want all the models, then they do give a discount. I'd say the old one is still the best buy here. We have two Battle Force boxes. The new one might be replacing the existing, so there's a FOMO there. They're each designed around an attachment, and if you want to play like that, then these boxes are perfect to start off. The Army of Faith is for a detachment that gives a focus to jump pack units, but you can include anything in that detachment. It's worth saying for each five model sprue for the Seraphim or Zephyrim, you get all the options you need to build either. So if you build one, you basically get all the bits left over to build something else. Now you can just add some Battle Sisters bodies to this and you've got yourself some new Jump Pack Sisters. At the time of recording, this box set is the only place to get the Jump Pack Cannoness, but she's not an overly special model. You can definitely kit bash one rather than pay the scalpers on eBay. The Penitent Crusader Host Battle Force. This is for a detachment that's quite specific to certain units and this box set is perfect for that. It's also a really good discount at 37%. But for having two Rhinos in, I'd suggest buying two of these. The last box is the Auto Hereticus at £135. A 33% discount, but if you only want the sisters parts, it's best just to buy them separately. This is not a discount. You do get other cool models, and you could kit bash the RBTs to be sellers and sacrosants, but it doesn't feel like a particularly good way to collect sisters. I've mentioned a few times about kit bashing your own units. This may seem daunting, but it will save you a lot of money. Characters are lovely sculpts, but expensive for what they are. You can build your own pretty easily. A nice tip is to buy the Kill Team Novitiate squad, then you can get bash a Cannoness, Palantine, Hospitaller and a Magifier out of all the bits. A £40 kit making £96 of characters. Might be worth ordering the correct base sizes for cheap off eBay if you care about tournament play. And as it is, Novitiate squad are actually quite good in game on their own. Battle Sisters can be played as just that, or as Dominions, which are a great choice. The kit is great, and you might want two. If you get a Monopose set that'll only build Battle Sisters, then don't worry, you can still play the models as Dominions, no one will really know. You'll need vehicles in your army to hold objectives and keep your Toughness 3 Sisters safe. And of all of them, the best one, and this may be controversial, is the Immolator. Rhinos are iconic, but basic. The Exodus is beautiful, but not great in game for the points at the moment. Feels like a must-have in a collection, though. The Castigator is overrated. See my last video. Just not good output, to be honest. And that leaves my favourite, the Immolator. Good weapons, movement 12, and allows you to split a big squad so you have more units for playing the game. Also, it's kind of the poster girl for the Bringers of Flame Detachment, which is doing so well at the moment. I mentioned also takes at the start of the video, and there's only really one, or one combo. More than Val and Paragon Warsuits. Rerolling everything, great weapons, plus one to hit and wound against monsters and vehicles. They are killer, but expensive. 370 points in game is a lot, but I think it's worth it. And to get the lot is £87.50 in the UK from Games Workshop, or £70 from a discount store. There's a really nice variety of units and playstyles in the codex, and I've got some other videos which talk about the pros and cons of all these in a tournament setting, so make sure you check them out. I also check out my tournament roundup videos as I talk about the practical aspects of playing lots of factions. I'll see you again soon. Bye!